Hi, this is Ben with Fiddler Shop. So over the past week or so, we received a ton of emails. A bunch of customers had some questions regarding their instruments uh, with care, repairs, things like that. So since we received so many, and this is our first week of Ask a Luthier, we decided that we're actually gonna be answering three questions this week. Uh, so our first one, customer wants to know if they can leave their instrument in their car. I'm gonna read the email to you now. So all my research tells me to never leave any instrument of any type in a car. I want to do it anyway. I drive to work and park in a shaded parking garage. I have about 30 to 60 minutes before work to practice a bit with my violin shaped dollar store instrument. If the car is in the shade and it's only about 75 to 80 degrees outside in the sun, am I cool to leave my instrument in the trunk or will all the terrible things I've heard of still come into play? So the short answer to your question is no, you never ever want to leave your instrument in your car and yes those things are pretty much going to happen to your instrument uh, since cars just billow up in heat or cold sometimes just depending on where you live that greatly affects the wood and the glues holding it together extreme amounts of heat actually causes the wood to expand the grains start to open and you start to get cracks on the instrument another thing that comes into play is the glues that hold most of the instruments together are heat soluble. So it actually causes the glue to turn back into essentially a liquid state and parts of the instrument will start to come undone. Uh, we actually have over here an example. This is a bacon mandolin that came into the shop. The brand is called Bacon, I think it's very funny. Uh, so essentially if you take a look, You'll notice that it has a greenish sort of color to the finish. That is from extreme amounts of heat and moisture over an extended period of time. Now, something else you'll notice is the binding of the instrument split at the seam, and that's starting to come off, which can be caused from extreme amounts of heat and humidity. The top is starting to come off, uh, the back I mean, sorry and it's actually warped as well. Another thing, like I was saying, with the grains opening, you'll notice there is a huge crack along the top here. Now, worst of all, the headstock split right at the center line here, where the two halves met. Now, if you look on the back here, you'll see as well, the split goes to about halfway on the neck. So, if you're going to be leaving your instrument in your car, just understand that this can happen. Um, now, that being said, I do not recommend leaving it in your car. That's usually a death sentence for an instrument. But since you did mention that it is a dollar store instrument, it's probably one that you don't care too much about. A lot of customers or a lot of musicians tend to have one instrument that they just use as a beat up instrument. They'll leave it in their car, bring it to the beach, leave it outside, things like that. Uh, and they will have their professional instrument for recordings or performance or practice, things like that. So if that's your situation, then even though I don't recommend it, go ahead and leave it in the car. Just know that what you saw on that mandolin is most likely going to happen to uh, your dollar store instrument and when that does happen most likely you're going to be looking into getting a replacement one.